Hey guys, welcome to Finney's Farm. So today we're going to be putting eggs in the incubator, which is very exciting. I've got two breeds of chicken's eggs that I'm going to be putting in. So the first breed of chicken's eggs that I'll be putting into the incubator is the Vorwerk, which is a breed that originated in Germany and is a relatively rare breed with noticeable black and gold plumage. And it was started in around the 1900s and they have a brown egg. The second breed of chicken's eggs that I'll be putting into the incubator is the Speckled Sussex, which is an ancient English heritage breed that was nearly lost in the early 1900s, but was saved. It's got a base mahogany plumage with white tipped black barred feathers. It's a very pretty bird and has brown eggs. So these just came in the mail. <coughs> They're fragile boxes containing the eggs that we're going to be putting in the incubator. I've let them rest for around four hours um, to let the eggs settle before they get put in the incubator and start the incubation process. But let's go put them in. This is all the eggs in the incubator ready to go. It's been on, so it's hot. And this is the incubator itself. Um, that's the details if you were interested in getting one. This is the incubator setup. Um, I've got it on some towels, just when I'm adding the water that doesn't get on the carpet. Okay guys, so now we've got the eggs in the incubator, we just have to wait the 21 days for them to hatch. Uh, but there's a few things that we have to consider while we wait. Uh, one of those is humidity. Uh, humidity is really important um, to keep relatively high. And we do this by adding water, about 150 ml of water to the reservoir at the bottom of the incubator every day. And we also keep the vent open on the incubator to allow the stale air to move out of the incubator. So temperature is another thing that we have to consider when incubating eggs. Um, 37.5 degrees C is the ideal temperature, but my incubator doesn't round to the 0 0.5. So I have to go for 38 degrees C, but that's completely fine. I've done it before, it works well. Another part of incubating eggs is candling them. Candling them is pretty exciting because you get to see um, what the embryo is, how it's developing in the egg um, by shining a light through the egg in a dark room. Um, and you can see the like, alien-like network of veins and the embryo form and it grow and it's just really cool. So that's what I'll show you now. So guys, we turn the eggs during the incubation process and this happens in my incubator with a rolling system. Um, so we need to go turn that off because at three days before they're meant to hatch, they need to stand still and stop rolling. So I'm just going to take the eggs out of the rolling racks. and then take the rolling rack out carefully and then just space out the eggs evenly. And then place the incubator back on.
Thank you.